Hi, this is Christina Rodriguez from Diva by Design in Harlingen, Texas, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to find the right contractor or how to find an experienced contractor when you are doing a remodeling project. So one thing you need to know is that not every contractor is going to take on a small project. What's a small project? Well, they consider one room to be a small project. So they're looking for well, some, not all, some contractors are looking for the big projects, whereas we're talking about if you're flipping a house and they're going to do the whole thing, or you're going to build uh, a lot onto the house. If you're going to be doing something more than just, say, a bathroom or a kitchen or adding on a, a shed or, or a garage or something like that, they consider one room to be a small project and not all of them will take that project. I have had that happen to me. They come out and they say, oh yeah, this is great. We'll give you a quote. Never hear from them again. I call them back to, oh, we decided we didn't want the project because it was small and we're looking for the big projects. So then I'm having to look for somebody else. That's okay. It's normal. You'll find the right person. Make sure that when you are looking for a contractor that you have a list of three to five and you make appointments with each one of them to come out and give you a quote or an estimate on how much the work will be. If you've hired me or another interior designer to do, to do your design plan, then you've got that to show the contractor and they can give you a better estimate. As for references, for your contractor, same thing you would do with a designer. Ask for references. They should give you references. They should have pictures of previous work. You should be able to call those references or talk to them, see the pictures, that kind of thing. That's always good. If they say no, then there's a big red flag. Normally they'll say sure, they'll say this is who we've worked for and whether or not you can contact them. If they don't give you any names to contact, I would just move to the next person on the list. Wait until your project is finished before you add on to the work that you need your contractor to do. So if something comes up while you're they're working on, say you're doing one room, something else comes up. Wait until that room is finished before you add on because if you're distracting the contractor from finishing that, your project is going to drag on for months instead of weeks. And my suggestion is, yes, you can tell them about it, but don't have them go and look at it until the other project is finished because that way they're not distracted. And every change that you make during a project, anytime you change the scope of work, they could charge you $350 just to make that change. That's not including the labor, that's not including the materials, that is a change order. On budgeting, plan to spend more than you think you're going to or more than you might want to because the prices for materials, they change, they go up and they rarely go back down. 